what's that word that people use to like describe like streamer and like you know people who watch stream what is that word forget that word parasocial that's what it is i know words i think jerry's a lot on that one oh lord this is gonna be fun uh there we go you ever just forget words i forget words often <sighs> what have I been up to today? Mostly just vibing. Um, <laughs> play. I watched a friend of mine play NBA Street because my internet died before we got a chance to play. Uh, let me lower this a bit. Just a touch, you know. So I can go into uh, voice. I forgot about going into voice before I started. And where is it? Here it is. Oh, I'm super spacey. Oh no. I'm really wishing I had Rise right now. Cause I'm hearing about all these updates and stuff, and I'm like, oh, I want to play the video game. Oh, father. I crave video game. But yeah, the reason I'm even playing a lot of these roguelikes because I like advertise myself as being like having a slight focus on it, but I've really played a whole lot lately, so. That's why we're kind of doing a lot more of this stuff now. I must confess something to you, my friend. My mind still wanders to Eurydice quite often, and my memories of her, despite my best attempts to move along with my existence here, mm. I would call it a fatal flaw. <laughs> I am already dead. Don't torture yourself, mate. You've been through enough. As is she. You still care for one another, just don't have a way to get the point across. But I have an idea. I too once had ideas, Zagreus. Ideas and inspirations. It was so very wonderful to have a muse. I know. It's really fun to just like have um, this thing go by itself so I don't have to talk. What do you want from me? Leave me alone. We have nothing to discuss here anymore. I need to get better at my like repertoire. I mean, my dialogue, I guess. Monologue. I guess it is a dialogue and a monologue simultaneously. I'm not interested in having company. Especially from you. You stay the hell away while I'm off duty. Ouch. Look at what I caught, Chef. Ooh. Ooh. I'm much obliged. We take those. Let's go. Uh, how many do I need? Oh, wait, wait. let me see what this one is before I go. Congratulations, Wretched Broker. <laughs> what a name! Wretched Broker. What is a child? Is something amiss? No, it's just the latest renovations from the contract. Yeah. Father told yeah. Me about supervising all of that. You're right. Look, Gay ass. Between us, <laughs> I'll not speak of it again. But thanks so much. Ah, yes. No need to speak of it again. Though I am pleased to oblige. <laughs> I'm always at a hungry ten percent. <laughs> Goodbye for now. Very good. Very good character. Deuce is very good. I can do anything. <laughs> that took me off guard for a second. It's like, hmm. My my brain went, ah, yes, just like Delta Rune. I've been poisoned by being online too much. Send help, like immediately. All right. I I could use it. Well, this is gonna be a uh, what did I have? What do I have equipped right now? I got spear. It's gonna be a shield run today. We should move in. Wait, no, it's, it's not lesbian name where we can see that. Hmm. I can I, I can see. Listen, I, I I am always aware of lesbians. They are my sisters and siblings in arms. Because they are powerful and very cool. And I respect them. My brothers, Hades and Poseidon, once fought bravely by my side. You know that, don't you, nephew? We prevailed against the Titans mm. and established law upon the Earth. Your father then descended to the land of death. And we've not seen much of each other since. Mm. Yeah, they do. The Thunder God's might. Thank you. 
time for Viv to wreck their thumb live on camera. Look who. Man, I missed this game. It's been a while since I played it last. Uh, not for any particular reason. I just, I don't know. I, I not like I get. I don't get bored of games. Usually, I just kind of forget that I have them. You know. But it's like, oh, I have this game that's really, really good. While you're playing it, Viv, I don't know. Gemstones. I don't know. <laughs> support your local lesbian folks. This is a, a public service announcement. And if you are one, uh, support yourself. You deserve it. Keep on keeping on. Nothing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I've been really Hello. To Hello, what's up? We're playing Hades. I like this game. That pronunciation was almost completely unintelligible. I know what you meant, but <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. All it right. has to be like super unrecognizable. Otherwise, what am I doing? It's like that guy who was on Vine back in the day with uh, pronouncing things incorrectly, like on purpose. I love those vines. Those are great. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, it's Chief. Oh, uh, yeah, it's great. So, I've decided that I need to suck it up and save up for a new, like, Windows machine that'll mm. actually work. I see. What, what brought about this? Uh, my old one is, like, struggling to handle very, very basic tasks because it's from 2014. Oh, yeah. It's not- it wasn't even good in 2014. Yeah, uh... I gave my father a laptop that I got. It's like a hand-me-down from, uh, another family member, uh, not that long ago. And it's- it's- it's hilarious how jank that thing is. I think it ran- I think it ran Windows Vista when it came out. And oh, it has, yeah. like, 200 gigs of storage. <laughs> oh, wow. You think 200? Nothing. Um, the laptop that I'm currently on has 128. Oof. Out now, oof my bones. To be fair, that this laptop is intended for business purposes, and 128 was a lot in 2014. Yeah. And to be even more fair, the new laptop I'm looking at also has 128. Oh, no. So I'm kind of stuck with it, but... Um... I was, uh, hmm, what do I want out of here? Divine Dash? You know, I'm gonna take a Divine Dash. Actually, I'm gonna look this up really quick, because I wanna see what makes, uh, the best com- the best duo really quick. Give me a minute. <laughs> I have to know. I have to know. You know, I'm just gonna look it up over here. And yes, this is a Envy Black Game Facts moment. Don't judge me, alright? I just wanna get Merciful in so I can beat, uh, Hades. Before we move on to Final Fantasy IV, uh, let's see. Merciful End is Divine Strike or Divine Flourish, and Curse of Agony or Curse of Pain. Alright, I'm gonna go with the Divine Flourish then. It's probably not the best one to take, but you know. Ooh. Well, ain't that a surprise? Let's go. I thought I wish I got it for free. Oh well. Um I did download Alien Isolation at Bobu's uh advi advisal. Uh not it's not a game I haven't really played ever, but I I wouldn't I wouldn't mind doing that for like Halloween or something. I know I super want to play RE4 for Halloween. Yeah. Uh I haven't really played a, a Halloween type game in a while, I think. Not since like um uh, what's the name of that stupid game? Uh, Kirby's Halloween Adventure? No. There was another game before that that I played. It was like an actually long game. It wasn't a ROM hack. Uh, Eternal ah. Darkness. There we go. This is a return. Ferocious Guard. Dashing Wallop. Oh! So, this, that's it. so the 16 pounds of clay I ordered in the mail should show up tomorrow. Hell yeah. I'm interested to see how it's packaged. <laughs> That'll and be really... sick to, to see. 
I'm even more interested to see what corners they had to cut Man. to give me free shipping. I can't believe how much you have to cost to get up something you can just dig out of your out of your like backyard, potentially depending on where you live. This this stuff is like heavily processed in a special way, and it it's like a whatever family business dating back to the 17th century. Who cares? I can imagine. I'm just making light of the fact that things you can find like anywhere still like cost a certain amount of money. Yeah, well, it, it, it wasn't like. Well, yes, it was. <laughs> you can dig up some rare earth metals in your backyard too, but that doesn't mean you can make a computer. You don't know what I can and can't do. Okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm I'm kind of like fast tracking this saving up for a computer thing, not because I want the computer, but because I'm currently using an iPad for everything. Oh no. The iPad has a, like a keyboard case, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah. But it is still an iPad. I can't turn off the volume while I'm on a call because iPad actually like limits that. Um, I can't I can't have my video on in a call if I have another window open at the same time. Wow. I um I can't install Ooh. anything that's not that's on the so App fun. Store. That's a big downside. Yeah. I've, um, uh, Firefox found for iOS. certain workarounds with that, but that, that's, that's am, uh, it's, it's changed a lot in the past couple of years. And I'll I am that not, free. look, I am not going to jailbreak my iPad, whatever. <laughs> I, look, this, this thing was like, I don't think it, yeah, it was. Yeah, this was before, like, I even could, able to jailbreak it, because, um, I know it's just an exploit you could do with um, Apple devices before an update happened and it was like, alright, you've had your fun, we're gonna take this away now because we're an awful corporation. Uh, well, the thing is, a Apple, like, is getting actually better with allowing third-party stuff on shiny. its devices. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it is, it's, it's simultaneously taking steps forward and taking steps back. That's a, that's like, a, that's a company for you. Because, like, at, at one point, they took a step forward of allowing mouth, full mouse exactly support on the iPad, hmm. which is actually a cool thing. Like, that's a genuinely cool thing. And they designed a cursor. They implemented it well. It it works great. Mouse support on mobile devices is very cool. Uh, I screwed up a cell phone that I had to get repaired, and I, had, I fixed it by using a USB-C to USB uh, connector and using a mouse, and it worked. Yeah. It's but, actually really and, sick. And then Apple, of course, you know, decided to sell their mouse thing. It, it was a free update, but they decided to, like, make some money off of it by making a trackpad case. Like, a keyboard and trackpad case for their iPads. Of course they did. And guess how much the case cost? I can only fathom. $350. Of course! Why not? We will buy a lot for our that. little ugly status symbol. Yeah. Man, like, the, the way in which, like... I Being used to wait, expensive, wait. like, stuff like that has become so, like, sterile is so disgusting. Where's the vibe? Yeah, you know? I'm... I'm personally... but Maybe it's just, like, my... I'm kind of a fan of, like, architecture and design and all that, and minimalism doesn't... Like, I enjoy minimalism personally, yeah. but I totally see why you wouldn't, and... I do think it's a little stupid that everything's really minimalistic, but I still yeah, like I, I I'm tired of it. I look at the at the uh, PS5 and my eyes roll over in my skull because it's like, dude, where's the, the where's the, the anything? The PS5 is a prime example of like trying to be somewhere in between minimalistic and not minimalistic and completely failing. Yeah, the, I would it looks you want, so jank. I would say if you want an actually good looking minimalist device like i would say probably the only really good one that i know of is the xbox series s not the x the x is garbage yeah but here's my take right, right. i feel like everything past the og xbox is like 360 is kind of good then the one is just like a a steady decline down quality of design yeah the well the xbox original is the peak hi elfo what do you, what do you, okay I love the look of that thing. It's green. It's ugly. It's early 2000s. I adore it. It's why Fair I enough. adore, yeah. like, uh, the fat PS2. Oh, damn. Got me. 
I I like the PS2 Slim hitbox. I mean, fight stick. That's my that's my thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like the Slims are all right. I just I like the uh, I, I enjoy the chonk. Yeah, I I okay. This, um, you you're allowed to attack me for this opinion. I actually do enjoy the design of the new IMAX. I know they're bad, and I and I like, think if they had you. If they had USB all right. ports, I think like the colors are all right. It's just that like. I think no. ripping away all of its like base features makes it look a lot worse in, in general. Oh, uh, we're kind of winning. Uh, this run's going pretty all right. I'm hoping I find like um, airy stuff in um, the next area, but uh, you know we'll, we'll, we'll burn the bridge when we come to it. <laughs> also, I really hate this interaction. <laughs> Coral Pink DS is probably one of the best designs. I really like the uh, Cobalt Blue and Black one, but the Coral Pink DS is like, mwah. it was perfect. I think my favorite is the. Uh... Weird, weirdly enough, my fav—I like the pink GBA SP, obviously. Yeah, that was a good one. Because it, I like that kind of light pink color before, before companies started doing the sandstone or rose gold or whatever. Like mm -hmm. I hate, like okay, rant time. Rose gold is just not a fun color. Uh, yeah. I feel like old it's just rose, like old rose gold had a little bit of snazz, but the new rose gold is like mixed with so much normal gold that it honestly just looks like makes me think of like a Sephora or like a <laughs> yeah, it is very like a hot topic. Like it is very silly in this design. One course, thing I do remember off. though is uh, back in the day, is a bunch of like cis men trying to like reclaim rose gold and calling it dumb nonsense like rose gold. Like shut up! No, that's just sick, just absolutely. just like pink, you weirdos. Don't, don't like don't ascribe everything to it, you nerds. No, no, no. no. Let let them create the rituals. Like, all right, create your rituals. Just like be normal about it, you know. You don't need a whole song and dance and a building entire identity around it. I think it's funny if they do. Yeah, you know, you know what happens when we get that? We get bronies. Oh yeah, that's what that's say. what comes of that. You know, I'm, try I'm trying to I'm trying to shove the word brony and rose gold together in my head. Hang on. It already I already said it. Bros gold. Oh right. Jesus. Like, look, it's not as funny as the nice. jokes pickup truck users make users drivers make of make about four drivers. <laughs> yeah, those jokes are pretty good. I don't care how homophobic it is. It's funny. Yeah. Sometimes a couple of jokes like that are funny. They're they're terrible. We can acknowledge that. But some yes. of those jokes, like, <laughs> like I mean, I mean, it's it is. Dare I say it is white on white crime? So yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is. I do have to say though, like, I'm glad I like have a better relationship with the color pink now. Mm -hmm. I remember like back in the day where it was just like. Ew, color pink. Like, I remember once, I think, I was uh, playing Pokemon uh, back in the day. I think I was, like, really, really little. Um, and, and my father just went, why are you playing the girl in your Pokemon game? I'm like, I don't know. I want to see what's different. And it's like, hmm, you know. I'm glad hmm. I have a better relationship with stuff like that. But, but yeah, that is uh, that is the early, early roots of gender. <laughs> yep. Um... I have kind of the, like, a weird, like, my relationship with gender is, like, exclusively and directly tainted by autism and ADHD. To, oh, like, yeah. To a higher degree than anything else in my life. Like, my, my story as a transgender person is just so different. Like, yeah. I, I transitioned really early. Like, I was, like, 14. Mm. And, and I'm not talking, like, socially. I'm talking, like, medically. Yeah. <laughs> It was really weird, and I I transitioned really early, and then I detransitioned. Message for me. And I still like I'm still very hesitant about going back on hormones. Like I'm very much yeah detrans, and I feel like everyone on the internet's take about detrans people is wrong. Every single one, but none of them have nuance. Mm -hmm. Like some people are like, we need to it, we need to respect and cherish trans people as a, as as an ally to the community because they are and it's like that's true but that should be a given and then some people are like you know trans people are traitors or whatever and it's like what are you talking about 
or d or even worse d trans people are making life harder for actual trans people because they're proof that people can change their minds and it's like can you shut up yeah like they're really. gonna hate us they're gonna hate us no matter what like real like some people just have a very unique relationship with gender and that's fine if you like yeah. i feel like the idea that you can just like explore that and realize maybe it wasn't for me is still like a, a step in the right direction yeah and the thing is if it pretty much exclusively wasn't for me medically and it still might be like i'm heavily consider like despite being hesitant about it i'm heavily considering doing that again mm -hmm. uh, but i'm gonna wait until i'm an adult for a bunch of reasons yeah i can understand that i uh, never really got Most that luxury to do something like that and i guess in some degree i'm partially grateful but it's 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 one of those things where it's hard to really say what would have been better what would have been worse it's much i'm just gonna say this as someone who is like you know really young and transitioned really young if and this is gonna sound weird but like if 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 you can socially transition and manage your dysphoria without hormones which is a very few very small pop portion of the population can manage this like mm -hmm. i know i'm one of the people that can manage without hormones i i don't know anyone else really my partner, maybe. I don't they... know what the hell I'm doing, you know? Yeah. But, like, I, I know my partner didn't, doesn't even intend to go on hormones, period. Hmm. And they're, they actually, like, they also have a very complicated relationship with gender that I'm not going to get into because they're not here. Yeah, like, listen, valids have a very unique and complicated relationship with gender. Gender's yeah. weird. A lot of times it, it makes no sense. Yeah, well, I've just decided to kind of embrace the fact that it makes no sense and stop trying to make sense of it. I feel like... Yeah, I suppose that's probably it's, a lot healthier, honestly. It, 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 I just kind of avoid labels, period. I think the only label I really ascribe to is like a pronoun set, and even that is like something that I don't don't even like follow all that much. That's fair. <laughs> like I think I think it makes life a lot easier for me personally, and I this is because I have the privilege to like say this mm. is. I I am comfortable being referred to in pretty much any way, and sure there are things I prefer, but it for me it's not a requirement. It uh, my preferred pronouns are actually preferred pronouns. Like that that word actually has literal meaning for me, mm. instead of being just a stupid virtue signal, just whatever. A stupid backhanded compliment. Yeah. Like I, I yeah that or, is just super backhanded. Like ugh preferred like i feel like there's a very small group of people that the term preferred pronouns actually refers to and i am a member of that group mm. and most of that group I, I don't know how to describe it i i wouldn't i have had like a weird just kind of history with especially like tainted by social interactions on the internet yeah like a really that'll that'll do that on any level have has really like shaped how i think about gender like especially at first because when i first okay i guess i guess it's time to incriminate myself when i first was like exploring gender i was oh my god that was like before high school anyway you're gonna anyway, kill me you're gonna kill me personally it was right before high school so you know gonna actually obliterate me from this timeline but I was like in a bunch of fan. I was like in a bunch of fandom stuff. Like uh, that. That's that's uh. Hmm. 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 Do you want to know what? Do you want to know what fandom? Do you really uh, want to know which one? Just kind of Broadway in general. So uh, you can you can yeah. you can. Like all fandoms, like, by and large, are garbage. But like that one in particular is. Uh... And this is around when? Like, I'm guessing uh, post 2015. Yeah, like 20. 17. Oh no, that's the worst. So, so guess which guess which musical was big at this time that I was somewhat into. I can only fathom. It starts with an H. Oh. After, to be fair, I only liked it for about three months, and then I like grew <sighs> to have an immense hatred of it. So <clears throat> that's the way to be. But I was still a fan of other Broadway stuff, which is like going. cringe. I mean, there's some good stuff on Broadway. Like, I, 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 I know it's a, uh, a, a corporate thing, but I still do enjoy Lion King on Broadway. That, that, that is a pretty good one. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of the 
honestly, a lot of the Disney renditions of like, the, like the musicals of Disney movies are decent. Yeah. They're some of the better ones. Um, I saw Anastasia live on Broadway. Oh wow! Play. And that was actually really good, despite its like obvious Fred Scare stuff in it. Mm -hmm. But we're not allowed to talk about that on Twitch. So. <laughs> oh let's, God. Well, let's, let's leave it at that. And. That was actually a pretty good, like, musical, and you know what? I, I have no complaints about it. It was fun. That's nice. I saw Phantom of the Opera on Broadway. Oh, wow. On, like, li live on Broadway. Recently-ish. The reason I got to go to Broadway two separate times is because my French teacher was, like, really liked Broadway. So she would, like, send us on field trips to New York City every year. Mm -hmm. Which are... Which are the two separate most stressful times in my life. Anyway, New York City is like not somewhere I can handle. It's very much a sensory yeah. overload. Yeah, New, New York is a huge place. I wouldn't really like it for a handful of things, and that's for like a couple of really good eateries, mm -hmm. and for like um, the Nintendo Center. I think the Nintendo Store and the M and M Store and all those M and M's, not M and M. <laughs> God, um, if he had his own store, I'd lose my mind. It's just all like merch, but with the same picture of him. It's like, it's it's your just mat. it's just a picture. It's just and it's like a framed picture of him with the Punisher from that one comic where he fought the Punisher in one. <laughs> no, that's real, by the way. Yeah, I I I, uh, I I I think so. I think that would be real. Um, yeah. So New York was frustrating, but I Phantom of the Opera on Broadway was like the ultimate sensory overload. But because, like, I did not know anything about Phantom of the Opera going into watching Phantom of the Opera. So they were ah, just yeah. doing that, like, the, the auction scene in the in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And they're like, up next, this old chandelier. And I'm like, whatever, it's a chandelier, but this is probably important to the story. And then, like, they start blare, blaring the main theme, and they literally lift the chandelier off the stage and above the crowd. And I'm like, what is going on? Ah, uh, hand. One thing that I wish I could have done before it, like, got taken off because it was harming people, I wanted to see Spider-Man turn off the dark. But I know why they had to take that off Broadway. Hmm. <laughs> that Hydra had a family! <laughs> what is this video game? Should be useful. Oh, man. I've never seen that line before. That feels like that one part of Borderlands where, where like, Claptrap is like, Midian, what have you done? These these guys have... <laughs> these guys had families and children and... Nah, I'm totally kidding. Screw those guys. Oh, uh, God. Oh, That's my so God. stupid. <laughs> Borderlands. Borderlands. What, a, what, Borderlands. A, what, a, what a terrible video game. That's actually kind of fun. Um, I've seen... I don't know how many times I've escaped, honestly. I've escaped a couple of times. Uh, I haven't gotten the full reason as to why Hades is a lying sack of, uh, fecal matter, but we'll get to that later. Oh, man. I see you have the very frustrating water dash. Eh, that's alright. I also Does have the, uh, the, the slam into the walls and makes a, uh, a thing of water appear, so I'm vibing. Like, I'm, I'm schmoovin', you know? You are definitely hydrating in mm -hmm. the video game. Hell yeah, I am. Uh... Do you think, do you think, do you think Poseidon would be the kind of person to say, like, drink eight glasses of water a day, or do you think he'd be the kind of person that's, like, literally just drink when you're thirsty? Um, I feel like it depends on what the situation Pulverizing blow could be like legit, but also I don't want to knock foes away because hmm. I, I don't want to not knock foes away because I get the the wall slam thing. Yeah, fair enough. God, those little orbs don't just remind me of like a funny Kamen Rider character. Now I look, I look at them and I see Wheatley. I have been poisoned. Send help. At least it's not like I. One of the things that I saw at one point, like, during my more formative years on the internet, mm -hmm. 
like I remember vaguely seeing something about like human like Gajinkas of the characters from Portal, and I don't remember anything about it, but I do remember uh. thinking like Wheatley looks like I didn't even know what the word slur meant, and I looked like, and I and I looked at it and <laughs> thought like Wheatley would call me a slur. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he has enough of a vocabulary enough to call you a slur. If that makes you feel any better. No, he definitely does. It, it's like hard coded in there. <laughs> we programmed this robot to say slurs. Why? Amazon Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. To, to be fair, like... <laughs> I don't know if there's any skit out there that's like... We programmed this robot to snitch and do nothing else, but like... Yeah, that's what that, that's what that new uh, New York robot is like. <laughs> we programmed a robot to snitch. I, I, I was gonna say just like, also Alexa's in general kind of be like that. Mm-hmm. Also, your smartphone, too. Yes, but I find it really oh, funny man. that people are like, don't buy a whatever because it has a microphone, or like, don't get a don't get a vaccination because it has a microchip that'll listen to your thoughts. Like, what about your smartphone? I, 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 I love the ones that are like, it'll take a chip out. Like, that's hysterical. But it's true. Yeah, it's true. It takes out the, uh... the metaphorical chip that allows you to get COVID. You get plus 250% slam there. Hell yeah, I do. Gotta slam some fools. Yeehaw. Uh, I only have enough for one of these. Uh, let's buy this one. Hmm. Should I get Rupture Foes or Second Wave? When you get the vaccine, you get to choose what anime character you want to be. <laughs> I see. I, 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 I think you're just inventing, like, you, you turn into a kitty when you get the vaccine. I don't know if that's a good idea for anybody involved. <laughs> okay. Uh, where should I go? Hmm. I don't want to fight a stairs because I go here. It's like that meme that's like, 2020, you have to wear this. 2021, now you have to wear this. <laughs> now you have to wear the Catboy maid outfit. God. Oh, man. I See, the best like part about, like, never uh, having webcam on is that I could be wearing, like, a made outfit right now, and y'all would never know. Y'all would never know. Hmm. And, the end, and you might ask, Viv, are you? I can say whatever I want. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Like, I, I've said it again, we need, like, more, more, like, dudes dressed like harlots in fiction. Like, we don't have enough anymore. The like, 80s the really deal? were, the 80s really were a golden age for that. Real. In the name of Hades. Like, He-Man. Mm-hmm. Who else? Uh, God. That one picture of Yamcha. Any of the... Pretty much, like, even though they they dress very, like, modestly, I feel like the star anyone from Star Trek kind of fills that anyway. Maybe. I mean, there are a lot of times that, like, Captain Kirk just takes off his shirt for no reason, so... Yeah. I suppose. Um... What's it called? What's his name? Uh... Who else is pretty good about that? Like, uh, Garo Terry is pretty good about that. That man dresses like a himbo. Yep. And it's great. That man dresses like he kisses men, like on the regular. Hmm. Rock Howard being like, hey, anybody want to marry my gay dad? <laughs> Anji Mito, yeah. He can. Yeah, Anji Mito for sure. That man just has his titties out, huh? Just all the time. Yeah. You know what? Good for him. Good for him. Anji Mito. Anji Mito has like a serious case of gender. I hope he's okay. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, like, why Bender just, he, he just has it. Mm-hmm. Like Ash Crimson. We don't know what, we don't know what that kid's up to, but you know that it's gender. I know what he's up to, he's up to being 10. Up to being he's what? 10, he's literally 10. No, he's, uh, Ash Crimson's, no, you're thinking of Ash Catch'em, I'm thinking of Ash Crimson KOF. Oh, god damn it. I, okay, listen. Yeah, listen, there's a lot of characters named Ash, it's fine. I, I hear Ash. Mm -hmm. And like th something that starts in the C sound, and I immediately th I th like I know in my heart that, for so even though I'm wrong, I feel that you're talking about the Pokemon guy. Nah, that's fine. I can respect that. Ah, uh, I hate you, armored losers. Quit stabbing me from halfway across the map. Ow! Uh, but yeah, Ash Crimson has gender. Like, Falcon injected that character as much gender as he could. Also, also, like, I'm kind of having to come to terms with the fact... This is completely unrelated, by the mm -hmm. way, but... I'm kind of, like, having to think, like... You know, I have to choose between, like... I, I can't, I'm, first of all, I, I have a few criteria for, like, the computer I'm gonna invest in, and the first criteria is it can't be a gaming laptop, because those suck. Yeah, it'll melt your skin. So, my choices are either, like, a normal thin laptop, which can't run anything, or a gaming desktop, which I can't take places, and I need to be able to take it places, so I'm pretty much just stuck with my the laptop Xbox, I but... use is actually pretty good, it can run, like, Fallout 4 relatively decently. I didn't buy it, mind you. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing I'm looking at looks like it can run Minecraft really well, which is pretty much all I need, so. Yeah. Hmm, can I get the boon from, the duo from here? Let me see. It better, it, it better run Minecraft well, because the laptop I'm looking at was made by Microsoft, the like. Yeah, he's an HP. Whatever. Um, I don't have it yet. What do I need for the, uh, the duo boon of those two? I'm curious. Uh... There is 130,000 people watching some weird dream SMP weirdo. When they should be watching me, please subscribe! <laughs> I can't keep a straight face when I do that because it's so stupid. Ooh, he wait, just, wait, this, this, this dream SMP guy just lost 15,000 views in like a second. That's amazing! How? I want more views. Oh, my bad. I thought the thing made me do more damage to bosses. There is no greater pleasure in Elysium than vanquishing the likes of you. I should have. Uh, oh, damn it! I'll get it if I can get it again. If I get another one, I'll buy it there. At the end of a run, does it tell you your accuracy with your weapon? Uh, I don't think so. But it's probably not very good, if I'm being honest. He probably has Ares, I'm gonna be so pissed. I hope I don't waste a Death Defy on these two, or I'm going to be sad. You might waste a Death Defy on these two. I think if you have, like, two specific things, it, like, has a good chance of showing up. Like, I know when I got Merciful End all those times ago, I got the, the two boons it was useful for. Don't have Ares. Oh, good. Isn't the Ares... I think when I first bought Theseus, I got Ares. Which was painful, because it was just, like, the whole screen was just covered in circles, and then I died. Yeah, it'd be like that. Oh, God! I'm dying, Squirtle! I'm dead, Squirtle! Sir, please die. 
I don't have to. I can block it, idiot. Ever hear of blocking? The easiest has. Yeah, a bit too much. Ah, oh, well, I'm not beating Hades. That, this ain't happening. I am gonna beat these two, though. Nothing personal, Darius. You're still the coolest, but, like, I have to kick Theseus' ass. It's important. My question is not why are you using the shield, but how are you using the shield? Uh, very carefully. Oh, I'm dying! I am going to die. Oh, that's right, I can do this. Yeah, I'm not, don't worry about it. Oh god. Well, I'm not beating Hades. This is not a, a good run for me. Mostly because I didn't have the duo, but if I had the duo, I would probably would have won. Unless I get it on like the next area, which is still a possibility. Just die! Die! Perish! Why do you say- why do you thank me? Oh god, I feel so bad. I guess I win this round. Oh god. Unless I get lucky and I roll something pretty good from in here. No. Well, I'm gonna get C O O K T, folks. I'm getting cooked. <laughs> but I love the shield. The shield is one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. Mostly because I could be a huge weenie and hide behind my shield and defend stuff. When I remember, anyway. I keep forgetting I have to press R1 to do that and not like X. And I have no idea why I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just do this, lol. Uh. <laughs> Ah, uh, great. Zeus! Unless I get lucky! We don't know. I could get lucky. Let's see what happens. Snake rock. <laughs> ba 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 da. Ba ba ba. Oh god. Oh. Giant rat. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Uh. If you're Michael, it's your birthday today. 80 is attack, Athena dash, Merciful end, and stack doom. Yeah. Alright. Say again? Nothing. I value your input! Alright. I didn't have any. I was just saying mm. something. Yeah, I guess it is a uh, big screwed. Okay. Oh, well. Let's see if I can survive this and then die to Hades and we'll switch over to Final Fantasy IV. Uh... All right, let, me, let me go for Athena. Mini rats. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Celebrating another birthday bash. I like the gun, but the gun feels, I don't know, weird to me, I suppose. I'm a diva and I like shmovement, and you get to shmove a little bit, but not as much as you want to. I want to move and shmove. I mean, attack and shmove. Then why aren't you playing the fist? Uh, cause I like to hide behind my little baby shield like a coward. Hmm. 
Oh, don't explode stuff. Oh, we live in. Whew, looks like I'm clear. I understand you nearly reached the surface lately, Zagreus. What if I win, even with, like, all the odds against me? That'd be silly. No matter what sorts of unknown horrors lie shrouded beyond the boundary. This game is very fun. I do enjoy just playing it and just moving my way through. Uh... Eh, might as well at this point. Uh, Twitch chat censors what? Censors, you're crazy. Wait, really? Yeah, for me, Wait. anyway. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I don't, yeah, it, it's uh, weird. I guess you got like the weird, weird filter on there. What's this do? Mm, no. Um, what should I do? What should I buy? I want to upgrade something actually. Take Athena. Oops. My bad. Uh, I guess I'll go here. Here goes. I can get some more money, and I can buy the Athena. Tasty. Okay, I didn't know that. I'll remember that next time. One day I'll be a Haiti speedrunner, but today is not that day. Hmm. Like, I don't know how to get noticed on this platform, so I gotta think about something. And like, even the I, even the joke about speedrunning, I feel like is like, ooh, maybe, you know? Yeah. Speedrunning's very rewarding. Uh, I don't know what I'd speedrun, though. I, I'm thinking about doing Maverick Hunter. I brought that up before. Mm. Maverick Hunter is, like, one of my favorite games. I beat it in, like, an hour last time I played it. I think. No, it was, like, three hours. It was, it's on my VOD channel. So I beat it again, like, last December. Yeah, there's too many, I think. Uh, alright, now I can buy this. I'll take it. Uh, Blinding Flash. Alright. <laughs> alright. If that is what you think. If that is what you wish. Alright, let me go here. It's probably here. I have a lot of health for, uh, for old Hades when I get there. Like, 350 is usually more than I have. I usually have about, like, 300, I think, on most runs. Sata sack. Feeling tough. You know what I really want to play one day? I want to play a four-player Tales of uh, game one day. Hmm. I think that'd be fun. I've actually never played a Tales of game. The prince persuades the underworld's ferocious guardian to move aside. That post is like an asteroid could kill an entire continent, not if I have anything to say about it. Do you have anything about to say about it? No. no. I love Lil Nas X. He's so funny. I know. Literally I'm... the funniest man on this planet. Uh, I'm not planning to do another round because playing this game makes my thumb scream like you wouldn't believe. So I'm just playing Final Fantasy. What do you have to say now? You come here bearing brother Zeus's aegis. I wonder how much more insulting you could be. What? I haven't even started to insult you here yet, father. Blasted by the old shield of chaos, then. Ah, uh, that's funny. Doubtless Zeus does not even remember wielding it. I never should have relied on him for anything after that. Then come. Let's see if you're any better with it than your great uncle. Is that like family great uncle or just great uncle? Zacharias is hilarious. 
He's just like, he's really nice, but he sees his dad and it's like, hmm, on sight, actually, I think. Why are you fighting him here? Like, that's such a small battlefield. Where'd he go? Uh, he disappears. Have you ever played this game? I haven't, I've played this game, I haven't gotten this far. Ah, I see. Well, this is spoilers then. But hopefully you won't be able, oh, luckily you won't be able to see, like, the actual spoilery stuff, so I doubt I'm gonna be Hades here. I don't care if I see any spoilers, I don't care. Okay. I'll probably never be able to play the game again unless I get it, I get it on Switch, so I might oh. as well see it. Well, maybe if you get a decent computer, maybe it can run on on uh, laptops. Yeah, but... I don't know. Whoa. Never say never, you know? Yeah. Oh, I'm, you see I, that thing popping in and out? I'm not crazy, am I? It looks like we're popping in and out. Darkness. Dark metamorphosis. You seem to be doing okay. Yeah, but this is, uh... This is, uh... Part one of two. Sometimes three! But I've only haven't not locked part three yet. Oh, that's why I'm getting close there. Oh, okay. Which I'm probably never gonna do. I'm afraid of putting up heat. Like, what am I, playing Yakuza? Alright, watch out for the spin attack. EM1, you mean E1M1? <laughs> Literally. I really want to play Doom again. I missed that game. That game's so good. Yeah, Doom's great. If only it was good, you know? Well, Doom is good, it's just old Doom is jank and old. No, Doom is. Doom, old Doom is a great game, and it was. Yeah, I, I'm just talking about, like, Doom Eternal. Ah, game. I see, yeah. On an ableist joke, but... Yeah. It's trying to evoke the whole, like... Talk of, like, the whole, like, weird corporate speak. Mm hmm But, you know, satire requires clarity and, uh, whatever the, whatever the hell. Blah, 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 blah. You know, yeah. all that, that, that entire spiel. Where is he? Oh yeah, I'm super dead. Oh, but I'm gonna beat him first! Nope, I'm not. <laughs> You're gonna take a break for from uh, this for today. My hand is starting to like yell at me. And you can see why this stream is titled Owl the Edge. It's not just for a joke. I mean, it is, but like, what do these shades have to say it's not just for a regular <laughs> kill cause of death garden tool. Let's see what he has to say. It's funny. Nothing on my list at all this time, except I could have sworn I saw you walk right out of the pool back. Later, Alpha. I'll have to have this thing looked at. I guess so. All right. Let's play some Final Fantasy. All right. Let me boot up my legitimate PlayStation Portable console. That's not fake at all, I promise. I-I-I <laughs> prom you, you know? Uh. <laughs> I heard I prom you once, and since then I have never been the same. 